What's up guys, Doe here, and here's my new intro, tell me what you think of it. Okay, so just pretend that I didn't say any of this, and you just clicked on the video right now. Aw uh, yeah, I'm back, bitches. That is my new intro, I'm using that unless you guys don't want me to. But, <clears throat> this is a tutorial on Wiggle. Wiggle, 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 yeah. So, I probably shouldn't have said that, that sounded really stupid. But, <laughs> anyways, um, uh, if you want to wiggle, like how I did in Trico's Trash, if you haven't seen this, you should probably check it out. I've spent a lot of time working on this. Actually, I want to share the name. Like that. You see that wiggle? That shake, screen shake, that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to show you something else. It'll be in the second part of the video. Well, not part two. I'm definitely, there's going to be one tutorial. Anyways, okay, so you want to bring in your clip, and um, how I did it in uh, Trigo's Trash is I twixtered it so that right after he shot, it was twixtered. So if you see him, like literally like two frames forward. I start twixtering it. Like, no, like it was one frame after that. But you get my point. So, um, first thing that you're going to want to do after you bring in your clip and twixter it if you want to is go to transform and you want to click your first position scale. And then I'm going to drag this back here because you don't want the shake to be too long. So, I am probably going to make it half of a second ish. So I'm going to bring it to 40, maybe bring it back one more frame. Maybe. Maybe another one. That seems pretty good. Wait, no. It's not half a second. Maybe right here. On this other half. And then, actually, I'm going to bring it back. Right here. Okay. We're done. Just kidding. Um, you want to hold shift, and you want to click on both of the keyframes so that they're both selected. And you want to bring up your Wiggler tab. Now, if it's not over here, you have to go to Window Wiggler. And I'm not redoing this tutorial again because my dad and my sister walked into the kitchen and made a ton of noise and I had to restart. But if you want to do the shake thing, you want to go to Don't Mess With Apply To. Keep that at Spatial uh, Path. Noise Type. You want it to be Jagged. So go to Jagged and you want it to Dimensions. For position, it doesn't matter. It doesn't all have to be independent. Uh, it doesn't all have to be the same. It can be all independently. So um, you can keep that there. And um, the frequency. What I did on Trico's trash is I made it 25 keyframes per second, and I made the magnitude 20. But you can change that to your liking. But I'm gonna do that for the tutorial. So what we have is this. And disable your audio. I already did though. You have this little shaking, and it looks really good when you add a sound effect. Uh, how I did in Tree Goes Trash. Actually, I'm not going to open it up again. But uh, you have the positioning down, and it's shaking, and you can probably add like a explosion, dull, or C4 explosion. I have a ton of uh, sound effects package. I have a big sound effects pack that I downloaded that I use in Tree Goes Trash. But um, that's how I did it, and um, also what I did was I had exposure. And I did this in Magic Bullet Looks, not in here, but keyframe the exposure, go forward one frame, bring it up, and then go forward like over here and bring it back down. It doesn't look nearly as nice when you don't have a color correction though. So I'm gonna delete that. But that's how you do the shake uh, wiggler position. Now, how you and that also works for scale, rotation, opacity, etc. So, um, let's say you want it to be a little, uh, I don't know, you want it to be faster, I guess. You want it to be more random and less work, even though that wasn't work at all. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to bring in an O creative clip. 
some shoddy spree. If it'll let me. Come on. There we go. All right, oh, creative shoddy spree. Just drag it in. Now, what we can do is I'm going to have it shoot. And I'm going to twixter the shot like while all the flares are coming out so I can get a bunch of warping. That makes no sense at all, but I'm going to do it. 59. 94, speed 100, go forward, and make this, Zelda quit licking the ground, it's my dog Zelda, um, scale it up, and make that go right there, so it's a second, and I'm sorry for this by the way, should have had this prepared earlier, but oh well, get to learn more about Twixter. Speed it up to here. Afford another frame. Bring back to 100. Okay, so more like the chill goes over here. And yada yada yada. So I'm gonna run and preview this. And since my keyboard is broken, thanks to my sister, um, I can't do the shortcut. So you're gonna have to wait the extra 10 seconds. So how you wiggle, and this was a wiggle that I was talking about, is you want to go to transform, and you want to go to, I'll do rotation first, you want to alt, hold alt, and click rotation to stop watching, you want to go wiggle, uh, open bracket, one second, comma, four keyframes, and then click, and then it should wiggle every one second, it moves four. So, um, I'll scale it in like 110, so you can't see the black lines, and then um, you can also go alt-click on the position, wiggle 1, 10, because I don't want that much, and then it'll move it around, kind of like a chill edit, you can add some really cool CC and Twixter, and then there you go, chill edit maybe some warping, but that is how you use the wiggle, and also, um, you can wiggle the scale, but I would recommend it, and you should definitely have it, um, linked, because if you click wiggle, and it's not linked, this will go all the way up, and then that'll stay down there, and it'll look awful, and that's what, um, the, uh, dimensions mean, when you have it independently, like here, I'll show you an example, if you have it independently on scale, and you do it, here's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look 107 and 123. That doesn't look good at all. But if you, um, Command Z, and if I go all the same, and then I do it, it'll do that, which still looks like shit, but um, it's better than what we had before. So this is how you, um, that's how you do the positioning and wiggle. That's how you use it in After Effects. Um, also, uh, real quick, I want to tell you about some more tutorial ideas. Give me some more tutorial ideas. Um, you're being really vague when you say transitions, although it gives, it's a broader topic, so I guess. But maybe um, send me a link in a private message. Um, for some reason, it won't let me click on the video when you post it on the uh, box. So, yeah, and I'm thinking about doing a like a how to make a chill, how to make an over edit, how to make this and that. So I would basically lead you through either an OC or an actual episode of me editing a chill or an over edit. And obviously I feel like I'm better at over edit than I am at chill, but I mean chill I think would take a little less time because I don't have to do as much of um, actual editing, rendering, and fishing for um, effects. So uh, I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. Um, I hope that, I mean, after watching it, you have more un understanding of how to use a wiggle or an After Effects and that you can use it for almost everything. Um, there are also thanks for 200. I, I don't know if I said that in my last video, if I had 200 then. I'm pretty sure I did. So thanks for 210. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial again. I'm lost for words right now, so I'm just going to leave. Um, I hope you enjoyed my new intro, by the way. Thanks. Bye-bye.